It's road course galore. We're talking mid Ohio and Sonoma this week on Post Checker Flag. Hey everyone, Mike from LA1 here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to this week's edition of Post Checker Flag. The Xfinity race is going on right now, which I have. I'm gonna rush right through because it's DVR right now. And don't forget, if you guys didn't miss my announcement, I am planning on getting the XRX video game, and I want to know what you guys think. Should I cover the SRX in a post checker flag? Oh, fuck it. I'm going to cover it. Since it has a video game, I can cover it on the channel. So let's see how this goes. Let's get to mid-Ohio and we'll discuss the race, shall we? All right, everyone. Here we go. Here is your top 10 from the VNL Transport 170 at mid -O the mid-Ohio sports car course. Yeah, look if we're... Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Let's uh, let's jump right in. Yeah, this is so out of date. Okay, in tenth place. In tenth place, we have we have Josh Williams. And. In ninth place, Ryan Sieg. In eighth place, Josh Berry in the 31 for Jordan Anderson. So that's twice in a row, top tens in for for Jordan Anderson racing. In seventh place, we have Michael Annette, possibly in a running to save his career at Junior Motorsports. In sixth place, Brandon Brown in the 86. Boy, that's a bizarre, but really good day for Brandon Brown. In fifth place, in the 23, Andy Lally in the top five. Not bad, man. In fourth place, Brandon Jones. In third place, who else is Ty Gibbs? Dude, this kid is good. I can't confirm that. I am good. I can. And in second place, Justin Haley. And in first place, AJ Almendinger. Unfortunately, he's not in this game, so yeah, mainly because of a certain thing we'll talk about in a little bit. Alright, so I guess we're going to use the. Uh, Justin Allgaier for uh, this one since I don't have another call. Oh, actually, no. Screw it. Let's just do... Uh, where's Haley? Yeah, I should have stuck with Phi, but oh well. Wanted to do different. I have to pay the price for it. So let's take a look and see how everyone, the best of everyone else. Daniel Hemrick, 12th. Jay Burford, 13th. Austin Cedric 14th. Cody Ware, top 15 for him. Good job, man. Ryan Vargas, 18th. Riley Herbst, outside the top 20. A fuel pump issue for Brad Moffat. Electrical issue for Bailey Curry. Accident, Harrison Burton, finished 38th. Tommy Joe Martin had a blown engine, 39th. And Noah Gragson got involved in another accident. Yeah, I think it's safe to say it's win or ne never, win or bust for Noah Gragson. Any hope of him getting a cup ride might depend on how he recovers. Without any time, let's head into the point standings because I have no, I have no time to waste. The Xfinity race is on. I'm worried I don't want to get it updated. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here are the point standings for the Xfinity series after Mid Ohio. In 10th place, oh, in 1st place, yeah, shut up, in 1st place with 558, it's the driver of the 22, Austin Sindrick. And in 2nd place with 462, AJ Allmendinger. In 3rd place with 437, it's Daniel Hemrick in the 18. In 
fourth place with four third. Oh, it's a tie for third. Also a tie for third. It's Harrison Burton. And he's not even in this game. What the fuck? I, of all the times I choose NASCAR Heat 4 to do a post checker flag, I have to suck. In fifth place. In fifth place with 419 is Jeff Burton and left and left once again he's not even in this thing. Oh, there's the 18. There we go. There's the 18. In sixth place with 401 is Justin Haley. In seventh place with 395 is Justin Allgaier. And yes, he's in here. He's in here. In eighth place with 345. It's Brandon Jones. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to see what post checker flags will be like when the next game comes out. In ninth place with 334, it's Jeremy Clements. Yes, I apologize. This is not my best effort, but less the short. Next, when we talk about the All Star race, I'll probably get my no joke down. I'm sorry. Yeah, Terry Clemens with 434 and in 10th place with 326. It's the weak link of Junior Motorsports Michael Lynette. And Noah Gragson is is in two points. Two points behind him with 324. Now let's get to the Cup Series. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your top 10 for the Toyota St. Mark 350 at Sonoma. A track I want to go to. I would like to go to, but I can't find the airport closest to it. Well, thanks to Avello Air, Air, Airlines starting up at Burbank, I may actually get a chance to go. Let me find it. All right, here we go. Let's get started. In 10th place, the master of the Blaney Ride Infringement, Ryan Blaney. In 9th place, solid run for Alex Bowman. In 8th place, the leader of the point standings, Denny Hamlin, at, I'm not sure with a certain somebody coming on his front door. In seventh place, Ross Chastain. And, yeah, he's not in the game. Dang, damn it. In sixth place, Kurt Busch. Boy, he's having a resurgence. We'll talk more about that in just a minute. And a special Tuesday edition of Post Checker Flag. In fifth place, Rowdy Kyle Bush in fourth place. Joey Logano in third place. We have the New Jersey Tasmanian Devils. Sorry for the lack of team, the nicknames this time around, but to be honest, I'm having a lot of trouble. Trouble here. Martin Truex Jr. and oh, that's right. Tommy Baldwin's in this game. In second place, your defending NASCAR Cup Series champion, Chase Elliott. And in first place, dominating, again, giving Chase Elliott a good run for his money, Kyle Larson. Whew, man, Hendrick is on a roll, and I'm loving it, even though I'm being biased as a Hendrick Motorsports fan. But let's take a look and see how everyone else did today. Eric Jones, 11th. Daniel Suarez finishing 12th, but for a second near the end, it almost didn't happen because he almost got in, he got in, into the back of Michael McDowell, and we know these two have history, and I was kind of expecting a penalty, but nope, that didn't happen. Bubba Wallace finishing 14th, and okay, we need to talk about Mr. Wallace here for a split second. I know people are going to say, oh, he has no talent, blah, 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 shove it. But let's be honest, this guy has gone through a lot this season. From bad pick from a loud a crew chief who made bad call after bad call to his pit crew making idiotic mistakes, especially at the Coke 600, where he bounced back from that penalty to get a top 15. Here we had a similar incident here. The only difference is that it was from his own, this one, was from Bubba himself. He sped on pit road and he got a speeding penalty. So in this situation, Bubba himself was his own worst enemy. 
and yet he was in 36th heading into the final laps. And then, what was crazy is that prior to this, Corey LaJoy was up front, Anthony Albredo was up front, and while we're on the subject of Mr. LaJoy here, I hate being off topic, but... Come on, I know you're a Hendrick affiliate. I know Spire is a Hendrick affiliation, but come on. You don't have to take one of Larson's. Uh, because Nation Guard is a Hendrick sponsor. So come on. You don't have to. That's a surprise. I didn't know BJ McLeod was a Hendrick affiliation. Dad, I expect. Now back to Bubba here. He was in 36th going into the final laps, and he kept his nose clean, avoiding the wrecks. He finished 14th. So that's two weeks in a row that Bubba overcame a penalty and got a top 15. That is perseverance right there. The top 10s will soon, I have a feeling, if they can keep limiting their mistakes and get consistency, well, other than the penalty bit, that's the only thing this team's consistent on right now. 2311 could make a big boost here. Let's see what else we got here. Keslowski, 15th. So Joy, who was up front for the last laps, finishing 18th. The only... There was only a few who had major incidents. Cody Rare and Matt DiBenedetto got into a big one. I don't know if DiBenedetto was in it, was in it but I think Cody Rare was. I think he hit uh, Ben Rhodes, who was in this race, surprisingly. I guess Spire needed that second driver. Byron got into in a major wreck. So His first true bat start of the season, Quinn Howe got a rear gear issue, and Stenhouse had a blown engine. So, other than that, a solid Sonoma race, I have to say. Now, let's get to the cup standing so I can wrap this shit up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to uh, talk about the point standings for the cup series, and then we can be on our merry beeping way. In first place, the 664, two more from the beast, Denny Hamlin. In second place with... 617 is closing the gap. Kyle Larson in third place with 591. He's probably going to clinch the 600 by the end of this by ne in two weeks time. Your defending champion, Chase Elliott. In fourth place with 564, the, the Charlotte Baron, William Byron. In fifth place with 548. Joey Logano in sixth place with 527, the New Jersey Tasmanian Devil, Martin Truex Jr. In uh, place with 527 points behind his teammate, the rowdy one, Kyle Busch. In eighth place with 509, the master of Blaney Ryan infringement, Ryan Blaney. In ninth place, 483, the only bright spot of Stuart Haas Racing, Kevin Harvick. And in 10th place, 473, Brad Keslowski. And that's going to do it, post checker flag. Next week, this week will be the All Star Race results. Thanks for watching, everyone. And make sure to stay tuned because we may have our first post checker flags covering the Superstar Racing Experience.